Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Now we've got a really, really exciting um, pairing to do today. And uh, that is the Byrupees Simo Roxygorum. Simo, Simo Roxygorum. Say it again. Simo Roxygorum. <laughs> we've got it, we've nailed it. Right, and that is the Neon Blue Leg. Now this is a really, really sought after spider in the hobby. Um, and it's really caused a stir since its introduction back in 2019. Now, um, the unusual thing about these is we managed to um, secure an adult female um, recently, and this is the very first adult female I have ever, ever seen. Um, I've never even seen a picture of one up until this point. And uh, we did also, about two years ago, we actually purchased um, a number of slings. And we got five or six slings, I think it was. Now, out of those, I do believe they've all matured male. All of them. So these are the first mature males we've actually seen in the hobby as well. So it's very, very interesting that, um, that we have seen for sale juveniles, but we've never seen any adults. So this is really, really exciting. We are absolutely stoked. And we have managed to actually get some really cool footage of the pairing of this adult female and one of our mature males. So without further ado, let's head on over. Check this out. I got a feeling I can't find any anywhere, but I'm pretty sure this is the first ever documented um, filming of this particular species of spider. I've not managed to find any pairings anywhere. So, this may be the very first one you've ever seen. Hope you enjoy. Well, here we are just about to introduce our male. Our male by rupees Simo Roxigorum. Commonly known as the Byrupes. Now these are a very, very impressive spider, and uh, one that we've been very, very keen to actually try and pair. Now we've been lucky enough to um, secure an adult female. Now this is the first adult female I have ever seen. Um, and the same goes for an adult male, to be fair. Now we ended up with, um, we had five slings that we bought some time ago. Um, out of them five slings, we have had um, all bar one have been male. And then we were lucky enough to secure an adult female. Now as you can see there now, this is our male. He's moving around a little bit. He seems a little anxious. And he's trying to climb out of the enclosure. So we've literally just touched him and he's fallen back down again. And now hopefully we can have a real nice close look at him. Now one of the things, the first things that you'll notice is that um, he's no longer blue. Now with the Byrupes, one of the things that really makes them stand out is that brilliant, absolutely brilliant, like neon electric blue. On their front legs. Well when they mature they end up with this sort of golden creamy golden uh, carapace and their legs go jet black. Abdomen is brown as you can see there and you can see that velvety look on their legs. There's still a very very faint blueness but it's almost unrecognizable. Now you'll notice there that he started waving as well. Now, this is something that we often see with our chillabrachis. They often do this waving. The fimbriatus, the males there, they do a very similar sort of thing to what this male is doing now. But you'll notice how he changes the way he waves his pedipalps. You notice he's sidestepping. He's picking up pheromones from all the webbing. You can see the webbing on the moss there. And this is something that we've noticed actually a lot with... Um, with using the moss in our enclosures, I think it actually holds the pheromones really well. And it does seem to spur our males on. You can see there that he's laying web as he goes. And I believe that um, 
when they're doing this, it's almost so they can retract their way out. So should something happen, he can literally bolt in an instant. And quite often, they will bolt in the direction from which they came. So I do wonder whether that web is leaving a trail that he can follow should he need to make a quick escape. Now we can see now he's going all around the back of the enclosure. Bearing in mind our female would have been out of an evening and she'd have been over every inch of this enclosure. So he's up the back there now and he's still doing a little bit of waving. We can still see a little bit. You can see him tapping with his pedipalps there just through the leaves. Interesting to look at the front legs as he comes through here now. You can see how he uses them front legs to actually feel where he's going. You see the very tips of the legs, how delicately they touch. And they feel almost like hands. See how they bend and mould around the surface of whatever they're leaning onto. Here we go, we're back into the waving. Sorry for my reflection in the glass there. A lovely close-up view of him now. Now, as we were saying in the beginning, we have never, ever, in all the time in the hobby, I mean, these guys were introduced into the hobby back in 2019. We're now in 2023. Um, so that's been four years, and this is the very first adult female I have ever, ever seen. And the same for the males. I've never seen a mature male. Now, this makes me wonder, whether it's taken all of this time for all of those slings that became available in the hobby back in 2019, 2020, that maybe now they are just starting to mature and come through. It's taken ours, the slings that we had, it's taken them a good probably two years, maybe a little longer for our males to actually mature out. And we don't grow them on quickly. We grow them on at a steady space, you know, steady, steady rate. So none, none too quick. We don't want to mature in super fast. But it's a very, very interesting thing. It's taken four years to find an adult female. And you can see the colouring there on the, on the lower part of the leg, closest to his actual body, is it is literally velvet black. Beautiful. You can clearly see the emboli on the pedipalps there. And you can also see there, although he's, he's shaking his pedipalps, he's also vibrating his body as well. You can see that vibration, that shaking. Very, very constant. You'll also see there that there's a lack of... Um, hooks on him as well these guys don't have hooks now she is in the burrow that we can see directly behind him and you can see there that he's um, got some very fine web over the door this is her early warning device if you like should anything come and disturb her burrow, she will be told instantly. There you go, that little, see that? Now you notice there now, the actual shaking there has intensified. Now, for all we know, she could be responding from within the burrow. She could be tapping, vibrating herself. You see, now he's waving again. And you can see there, look, his direction is almost gone straight towards the burrow, which suggests that she is communicating back to him, although we cannot see it. But the behaviour of our male is pointing to the fact that she is probably responding to his vibrations.
And it's interesting to see the tempo of the actual um, tapping and the waving. It's changing all the time. He's saying different things at different times. See, look, 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 that's nice and slow now. Very slow, methodical. The vibration is there. He slowed right down. Oh, look, now we've got like a rock in motion. It goes to show that so much of what they do is through vibration and not so much in the visual sense. And you can see there that he's actually extended the uh, pedipalps and he's just touching the tips on the floor. Very, very subtle movements there. Look at that sideways shaking. You notice sometimes he shakes sideways and sometimes it's up and down. You can see there as well when he was waving the pedipalps, he splayed the end of the pedipalps. So they're pointing in opposite directions. Other times they hold them dead square. Here we go. I'm surprised she hasn't come out yet. He may well have to go in there and get her. I just hope they come out because um, if we miss anything that goes on, it will be a very sad state of affairs. I'm yeah, rocking again now. You can see the, the pedipalps now have changed. Back into that waving. Now some of these spiders will take a long time before they'll actually make an effort and do something. Now I think this clip that we've got here, this runs on for about 17 minutes or so. And we've actually um, cut this down a little bit because this whole process went on for a good 45-50 minutes. And uh, and there was much mucking around at the entrance, as we can see now. And he's slowly working his way in. But he's very, very cautious. We've still seen no sign of our female. See all the web outside, all around the burrow. This is like a communication highway. You can see there actually where he's shaking, how he's shaking that leaf to the left. All of the web is moving along with it. It really, really highlights when you see little bits of debris hanging in the web and you see it shaking when he shakes. And this shows the ferocity of the actual vibrations that our males are sending over to their females. There you go, he's back to webbing up again now. He's still laying that web. And we can tell now by the movement of his um, abdomen and his legs that we can see that he is still tapping away. He's still waving to her. Let's hope her eyesight is good in the dark. Now this is always a scary time when we're pairing our spiders because when they go down into the burrow like this we have no idea what's going on it could all end very abruptly there's nothing we can do about it 
Oh, I think she, yep, she's coming out. She, he's backing off. Notice now his stance, he's changed. Look at that. Front legs are up. He's ready to defend himself. And she's come out as well. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Now, you'll also see there that our female, very, very receptive. But you'll also see she has no blue on her either. Now, he's trying to inseminate now. We're looking at the abdomen is sitting quite high. What we want is that abdomen to be pulled down. Here we go. Got her fangs display, but she's not showing any signs of aggression. This is very, very cool footage. First time I've ever seen the Biroops, Simomeroxagorum, actually pairing. Fantastic. I do believe he's actually inseminating as we speak. It's very difficult to see, but looking at the motion and the way he's moving, I would say he's pretty much there. Notice how he's holding her legs up. He's not holding her fangs. He's actually holding her legs. He's stretching down there. He's trying to get in there. She's being very, very calm. He does appear to have a good grip of her. But you can see clearly there he is holding her legs up and not her fangs. Not all spiders actually hold the fangs. Very few of them, in fact. She's not making this easy. He is fully stretched. He's having a little bit of a shake there. He's still, he's still talking to her. Now looking at that, we can just about see a pedipalp right at the bottom there. And I would suggest that he is managing to inseminate her. It's not the violent insemination that we was actually expecting. I really did think he was going to end up pulling her through. But he does appear to be inseminating as we speak. Because it looks as though he's actually changing pedipalps one to the other, and then he swaps them back. And you can just about see on the left-hand side there, between their legs, you can just about see a pedipalp in action there. They're both there now. There you go. You can see it there now. He's actually inseminating now. We can see that clearly now. In that gap, just underneath that front leg of his, you can just see the shadow in the background there. So I would say these guys are actually doing multiple inseminations, very similar to our avic avix. So this is a very gentle pairing. Absolutely fabulous footage. Oh, now look, look, look. He's back to waving. He's had enough. He's done the job. You can clearly see the emboli there as he's backing away now. Yeah. You notice he's maintaining contact and then he's gone. And she's done. That was a successful pairing. And what a fabulous pairing. Now we've just allowed our male to back off and he's walked straight up the glass and he's gone out of the enclosure. And we're just keeping an eye on our female now just to see what she does. And she's in that state of... Literally, she's like... I don't know how we can explain this state. Almost euphoria. She's quite happy to just sit there outside of the burrow. Very relaxed. We saw no aggression. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well then, what did you think? I said it was pretty impressive, didn't I? I think it was absolutely amazing. Now what we'd done there, we had uh, that whole process took around about an hour. Um, and we condensed that down to about 15, 17 minutes, I think it was. And um, you would have seen there that the male, he pretty much, he started off pretty early, actually. As soon as we put him in, he started going on the move. And he'd done a lot of scouting around. He was all over the place before he actually seemed to realise where she was. So we managed to condense that right the way down because we didn't need to do an hour of him wandering about. Um, and you would have seen there how his different, um, the way his tempo changed. And although we couldn't see that female, I'm pretty certain she started responding at one point there because you see he changed completely. Um, and we saw 
the way he taps, the way he waves, everything else. Some, one of the other things that we notice there as well, and we've seen with some of our other spiders, I do believe having the moss in these enclosures, the females, when they lay their web down across the, the moss, and you can see it in the close-ups, you see little strands of web everywhere. Now, these are all holding pheromones. Now, the moss, I do think, is actually generating that pheromone. It's making it stronger, especially when we spray the enclosures and things like that. I'm sure it has an effect because it seems to work really well. Our males seem to behave differently when there's moss in there to one there isn't. Um, this may just be something of nothing, but it's something worth thinking about, something worth having a look at. So he done the job, he got in there, and you have seen that female when she came out. Now I bet, I bet that most of you were really, really surprised to think, was it even the same spider? Because they didn't have their blue legs anymore, did they? They were all black. Now this is a really, really interesting thing. The females, they hold their blue color in up until they start hitting maturity. And as soon as they start coming into maturity, with each successive molt, that blue disappears until eventually they are pretty much washed out and they've got these jet black legs, which I think actually look really smart. They do look really nice still. And you'll see there with the males, they stay blue right up until that very last molt. And when they have that last molt into maturity, bang, they're black. And it's, um, it's an entirely different thing. Now you see there with the carapaces on them, they've still got that lovely creamy sort of colored carapace. They look really, really cool. We've got a young juvenile here, and we will have a look at that just to remind you what we normally see in these spiders. Now we're gonna take the lid off a little bit tentatively because these guys are super, super fast. And they can be quite skittish as well. Now you can see there, this is where they get their name, the neon blue leg, because they've got this absolutely amazing coloring. Now it came as a little bit of a shock to see the adults lose all of this coloring. So when they're young, they are absolutely exquisite. Now this is under natural light. There is no extra lighting going on here. And you can just see how strong that blue is. It's phenomenal. Even things like um, the Chilabrachis, the electric blue, that benefits by having light shined on it. And it shows the blue up, and it's almost like a, um, what they call it, it almost like a turquoisey sort of color. It's a really, really cool color. Um, but it needs added artificial light to really make it pop. These guys don't. They literally are, as you see them, amazing, absolutely amazing. So we've now seen that when they reach maturity, we're going to put the lid back on this guy because should he decide to go for a wander, they are very, very quick and he will be across this room before we can blink. Very, very fast. Now, um, hopefully, well, we did get a successful pairing. So now what we're looking at is we're going to get, um, we'll try another male in there and we'll try it one more time and we'll see what kind of response we get from our female. Sometimes they will come bursting out and just want to kill him. Um, and this is normally a sign that we've had a really good successful pair in the first time round. Sometimes they'll come out quite willingly and they'll have another go. So um, it's just going to be a case of suck it and see and um, we'll just see what happens. But we will try for a second time and then it'll be a case of just setting them back. Now, one of the things that we do know, there is very limited information on these spiders. There's not a great deal known about them. But one of the things that we know is they do possibly double clutch. And they also have quite big egg sacs as well. So this is going to be a really interesting thing. So we're just going to hopefully wait and see. And uh, fingers crossed, we get an egg sac. Because this is our only female. Um, we don't have any other females, unfortunately. So um, it's going to be a case of either breed this one or we're going to have to buy some more and uh, maybe buy a juvie female, but they are very, very expensive. Still very expensive. So it's going to have to wait and see what happens. Now then, as we said earlier on, I'm pretty sure this is the first time that a successful pairing or any kind of pairing has actually been captured on film. Um, so we're really, really proud of this little bit of video. It does look rather outstanding. I'm really pleased with it. Right then. So, 
no. want to make the litter more voluntary. Yes, yes, we do. I nearly forgot. <laughs> Again. Again, yes. My age, I'm sure. Right, we missed, today is Thursday, we missed last Monday's video. And I am very, very sorry. I really am sorry from the bottom of my heart. I completely forgot all about it. We've been super, super busy. Um, we've had a, a new grandson enter the um, the family, young Joseph. Um, he's uh, He arrived um, at the beginning of the week. Um, we're also in the process of moving house. Uh, it's been a bank holiday. Um, everything excuses, has been crazy here. And we're also doing the shows as well. So everything came on top and I completely forgot. I thought I had a film scheduled for Monday. Unfortunately, I didn't. So I'm very, very sorry. But we should be back on track now. I've been given strict instructions, sort myself out. So that is exactly what I'm going to do, sort myself out. Right then, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this film. And uh, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider. And I will see you all again soon, guys.